Hello everyone, thanks for watching another video with Minute Women Home Care. My name is Ryan McInniff. I'm the owner of Minute Women Home Care. We are a private duty home care company located in Lexington, Massachusetts. Today I wanted to talk to you about a specific service that many home care companies provide, which is live-in services. Now you might be interested in live-in services if your loved one, your mom, your dad, or uh, in-law needs more care than maybe three, four, five, six hours a day. The reason being is that the way that live-in care works is that you have a caregiver that comes in generally for the weekdays and then you have a second caregiver that comes in for the weekends and they stay there 24 hours a day. But the difference between live-in and hourly shifts are is the person sleeps through the night or generally through the night. What that means is, yes, if your loved one gets up once or twice in the middle of the night for 10 minutes to use the bathroom or get a glass of water, certainly the caregiver can get up to help them, but generally they need six to eight hours of solid sleep to be able to get ready for the next day to help somebody for care. So they're there for emergencies at night, but they're not up 24 hours a day. The other part with the live-in services is that the person excuse me, the caregiver is going to be needing their own bed and their own private room to stay in. Because since they're going to be part of this household now, they need to have their own area where they can get some rest, change their clothes, you know, go to the bathroom, shower, things that they're going to be doing every single day. The benefit with live-in services, though, is it's a flat rate versus an hourly rate. So if you're using uh, a home care company for 10 8, 10, 12 hours a day at a rate of, let's say it's $25 an hour, very quickly you're going to be getting up into the multiple hundreds of dollars per day range that shift care costs. While if you get a, a live-in care, it will be a flat rate, and in my area it ranges from two, around, right around $275 a day to $300 a day. So if you're getting 10 hours of care at $25 an hour, you might as well just pay the extra 25 to 50 bucks a day if you can afford it and you can get 24 hours of care. So it's really good for people that have dementia and that people that have uh, fall risks or people are rehabilitating from heart attacks, strokes, things like that. So it's just another option that you can look at when you're looking into home care needs for a loved one and a family member. Again, my name is Ryan McInniff. If you have questions, leave them down in the comments section and I'll be more than happy to answer them and I'll have a video for you next week. Thanks and have a great day.